Hi, thanks for tuning in to me and my golf. We're Piers and Andy, and today we're talking to you about how to hit the three wood off the deck. Yes, with our push and brush technique. Don't go anywhere. Let's take charge of your game. Boom! Hey, well, I wish they were all like that, Piers. That out. Okay, nice. welcome to the Let Better Golf Academy World Headquarters in Champions Gate, Orlando, Florida. And we are talking about possibly one of the hardest shots to hit, the three wood off the deck. Now, Andy, I'm going to go through his trackman numbers because that was a pretty impressive shot. 240 carry, nice. Lots of height, 100 degrees, 100 feet of height, should I say, but 2.7 degrees attack angle on the way down. So you hit that on the way down. Were you trying yes, to do I, that? Hit, I wasn't trying to, but that is exactly what we are looking for when we play the fairway wood. And I think this is the difference, Pierce. Most people are confused. Should we play it like a driver? Should we play it like an iron? But I think it's, un it's really important to understand. Well, actually, it's more close to an iron. We're not looking to hit five or six degrees down. Of course. But we're certainly, to ha certainly looking to have a slightly downward hit on the golf ball. And understanding that will help shape how you move when you're playing these yeah. shots. It's interesting. You hit that shot there. You didn't take a divot. No. Nope. But there was a downward descending blow when you were hitting this, wasn't Exactly. It? That means the low point is more after the golf shot. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get into that in a moment. But the first thing you need to really consider is when you are hitting a fairway metal off the deck, what club are you using? So it depends on a few things. First of all, the golf course. So if you're on a golf course where the fairways are really tight and the ball sits down low, it makes sense that you need a little bit more loft than a standard 15 degree three wood. So think about having a little bit more loft. If you're someone who only swings it, you know, sort of 85 miles per hour with a three wood, which is quite a slow swing speed, then you don't want to be hitting 15 degrees either. So if you're a slow swing speeder or you're on tight fairways, go with a higher loft. If you've got the speed or the ball sits up a little bit, then you can start looking towards a three wood. But I think people think, oh, I must have a three wood. And then they get it and they can't hit it and they go, oh, I hit my five wood better. There you go, that's, yeah. there's the answer. And if you're not really getting it very, very much airborne, then definitely that's when you need more loft. And loft is your friend when it comes to a fairway. If you're looking down at the, 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 the club and it doesn't look very lofted and you're a slow swing speed player, well, you will try and then subconsciously help it up in the air, which we don't want to do. We want to commit to actually allowing that club to hit down and we know that the loft is going to produce the shot that we want. Yeah, it only really becomes good then for off a tee. But, uh, and so many people struggle with the shot, Pierce. It it's is, hard. You know, the amount of people who say, who come to us for lessons and say, I want to hit my fairway metal better, and it is hard for them. But if we can apply a few simple changes and understand it a bit better, you can certainly help it. You can certainly get some great shots away. And they are great to hit that these clubs are. Okay, okay. So look, we've got the concept, we've got the equipment sorted. Let's go into the setup and then go into the golf swing. So setup first. Setup. So we've already said it needs to be closer to an iron than a driver. So that means that the ball position still wants to be a little bit further back off the lead heel. Now, the further back that you put the ball, the more downward you're going to hit the shot. Now, obviously, if you go really far back, you're not going to get the ball very much airborne because you're going to produce too much or too less loft. So we're going to start with a guide of just roughly a club head inside. That could be a little further back or a little forward, depending on, on how you hit the golf ball. But experiment with that, really. So I'm going to go a club head inside the lead heel. I'm going to flare the lead foot out slightly like this, and I'm going to favor the lead side slightly. All this will help me to do is to get the club bottoming out slightly past the golf ball. As we said before, what we don't want to see is an effort to try and hit the ball on the way up, the club bottoming out too early, and then rising, hitting the golf ball on the way up. If we hit the golf ball on the way up, you're going to catch it off the bottom, top the three wood, and it's going to go nowhere. So that's excuse, what we don't want. Excuse the wind today because it's rather windy here. See, that's the setup sorted. Before we get to the golf swing, don't forget if you're enjoying this video, hit the like and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos just like this. Golf swing then. Okay, what is this push and brush that we mentioned? Well, the push and brush is a great drill that you can apply on the range or even in your practice swings when you're on the golf course. Let's go through it. So I've got my setup. Now, as we mentioned, we want a slightly downward hit on the golf ball. That means it's okay to actually hit the ground. We want the sole of the club actually brushing the ground like this. Now, the pushing side of things is actually going to come from the lead leg. So as we said, we want to get the weight onto the lead leg, but certainly at an impact now, I want to push all the pressure into this lead leg and push and brush. So I'm really feeling that the brushing and the pushing is almost happening at impact. I can really feel the pressure now pushing into that lead leg. And if I can do those two things, my weight's going to get to my lead leg. I'm going to engage the sole of the club on the ground, and that's going to give me a much higher chance of actually making solid contact with the golf ball. Push I love this brush. feeling, Pierce, because I really feel now I can get that weight into that leg. And for, for somebody who tends to get 
this motion here where the weight yeah. goes back and they can't really get that ground, it's completely the opposite. Call that the back and duff. The back and duff, we don't want the back and duff, definitely not. <laughs> okay, so push and brush. So definitely the push is first and then it's that brush. All right, let's, so let's see what you've got. And you're gonna, the one thing I would say on this as well, make sure you stick your landing. So make sure you stick that finish position. That was nice. Okay, a little higher on that one as well. I, li I quite like that flight because when it comes down, it's coming down pretty soft. It's gonna access those par five flags. Four degrees down again. Let's see what the height, height again, 103, 255 yards 255. Carry. Boom, take that. I, I can just keep going. I'll probably get it to 270 with a few more balls. <laughs> now, don't forget, these videos are all about you and helping you with your goal. So if you have any questions about your game, please post down below so we can pick some winners for our next videos. Yes, definitely. If you want any more coaching from myself and Pierce, we've created some incredible coaching plans that have seen some amazing success. All the break series, the break 100, the break 90 and the break 80. So if you want to take part in those, click the link in the description and we will coach you over there. Thanks a lot.